Hey, what's up guys? We're back talking about filters again. We've already done high pass and low pass, so today we're going to talk about band pass filters. And a band pass filter very simply passes frequencies within a certain frequency range and rejects frequencies that are outside of that range. That's about as simple as it gets. So what are its applications? Well, it's used in transmitting and receiving circuits to keep the transmitted or received signal within the allocated frequency bandwidth. They're also used in atmospheric studies and audio applications. So you'll see them a lot there. Now, the way we find our frequencies is the same as we did for our low pass and high pass filters. And we'll come to that in a minute. So first of all, let's look at our high pass filter. It consists of a sign or, you know, whatever our wave input is going through a capacitor to the output with a parallel resistor going to ground. And the frequency response of our high pass filter looks like this. Anything below this line here is going to be attenuated. Anything above it is going to be passed. Then our low pass filter here we have our input with the resistor and then a parallel capacitor going to ground. And it simply looks like the opposite. Anything above here is going to be attenuated and everything down here is going to be passed. So that is our high frequency mark and there is our low frequency mark. And to find that, our frequency cutoff equals 1 over 2 pi RC times the hertz, times the frequency. And it works the same for the bandpass filter. Because when we make our bandpass filter, what we're doing is here's our input. We're going to have a capacitor and then a resistor that goes to ground. Oh, forgot to draw my resistor in there. And then we're going to have another resistor. There's our output. There's our ground. And then we're going to have the parallel capacitor here. So what you see here is simply a combination of the high pass and the low pass. And therefore, we have the band pass. So if we take our two Bode plots here of these two filters, the low pass and the high pass. So here is our high pass and here is our low pass and then here is our low cutoff. Here is our high cutoff and this area right here is the band that we're going to pass. Voila! A band pass filter. So let's put one together on the breadboard. Right, so I've got our band pass filter laid out here and here's the nuts and bolts of it. This is called a second order band pass because we have two separate filters here and the band is going to pass is between 1k and 30k. Now you can use that formula I showed you on the other page to figure out how to do that but here's the layout of our filter and it matches exactly what you see here. This first capacitor is 15 nanofarads, and then this first resistor is 10K. The second resistor is also 10K, and the second capacitor is 560 picofarad. So we can zoom in here and take a better look. This is the input. This is where our signal is coming in, and this is the output being read by the oscilloscope. So let's rotate up here. Have a look at the oscilloscope. Now if you look down at the bottom of the screen here, or you can just look up there, you can see our frequency is 5.4, so dot 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 kilohertz. It's a sine wave. And if you look at the peak to peak where the red triangle is there, you can see we're getting 8.8 .8 
8.9 volts because that frequency is within our band. Now, if we drop down below that, Our frequency is now 530 hertz, and our peak-to-peak -peak has dropped to 3.68 volts. So we've got like a 50% attenuation. We go back to our 5.43 kilohertz, and you can see we're right back into it. And then if we jump above it, we're now at 55 kilohertz. You can see again we're at 3.68 volts and it has simply attenuated the heck out of it. And as our frequency increases, you can see that our amplitude decreases. So look, we're at 100 and, or 300, are we 300 or where the hell are we at? Okay, 320 or so kilohertz, and our peak to peak is 740 millivolts. So there you have it, the bandpass filter, a combination of the low pass and the high pass. A little bit of math, and you can select whichever band you want to let through and which bands you don't want to let through. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.